Hi, welcome to our channel Good News. The development of the entire industrial chain depends on the weakest link in the chain to be made in China, which wants to completely domesticate the entire industrial chain. As we all know, the stepper, as the weakest link, decides the length of this process, which is also the main reason why we think it will take China 12 to 15 years to acquire the world's advanced level and self-sufficiency. However, China's independently created etching machine technology has in six years achieved the world's most advanced level of 5 7 nanometer, breaking the blockade of Western developed nations. This is significant because the etching machine is as crucial as the stepper link in the chain, the blockade was lifted by the United States in 2015. Additionally, this gives China's market participants great trust in the country's semiconductor market. A once-in-a-lifetime period is also crucial, in addition to the examination of numerous industrial chain connections. Coming soon is the golden age. The breakdown, or slowing, of Moore's law is the primary reason behind China's once-in-a-lifetime opportunity era. Developed by Intel co-founder Gordon Earl Moore, Moore's law states that the number of transistors in a chip doubles roughly every 1.5 to 2 years. The semiconductor industry recognizes Moore's law as the industry standard. Moore's law is getting close to the physics bounds, though. Global chip performance grew by roughly 50% year during the 2000s, but the rate decreased to 23% in 2010 and to 12% in 2001. In the last five years, the average rate has been as low as 3% annually. In terms of unit cost, as the chip process advanced from the 28 nanometers node to the 20 nanometers node, the unit price climbed by 10%. This was an early warning sign that Moore's law might fail. Increasing transistor density is currently the key factor driving the growth of the semiconductor industry. Jim Keller, the lead architect of the AMD K8 microarchitecture, once claimed that even after 50 times the density of silicon-based semiconductors, based on Intel's 10 nanometers node technology, processes like FinFET, three times the density, GAA, two times, stacked nanowire, two times, wafer to wafer, two times, and die to wafer, the 3D stacking bonding technology, twice as dense, have been developed. However, the method that now creates 20 nanometers graphics with a 193 nanometers wavelength after 3 nanometers has significant physical obstacles, the density change diagram is shown in the figure. As a result, the ensuing rise in density will really result from the stacking of different levels, or from the transistors being stacked in different dimensions, which will raise the transistor density covertly. Another tactic is to alter the semiconductor material itself in addition to improving density. Major chip-related firms are unable to adequately address the trend of chips below the 3 nanometers node as the silicon-based chip manufacturing process slowly draws closer to its physical limit. Chip made of chemical compounds is a significant potential replacement. GAAS, GON, and SIC are now three formidable rivals. None of them, however, can match silicon-based semiconductors' high temperature resistance, strong radiation resistance, easy manufacture, and superb stability. It is important to remember that graphene chips, based on carbon, are also a viable alternative that are frequently mentioned. The electron moves 1,000 times faster than that of silicon chips, up to 1-300 the speed of light, in single-layer graphene, which has a thickness of just 0.27 nanometers compared to the present standard silicon-based materials. Future electrical items could be able to bend since graphene can also be used to create flexible sheets. The first carbon-based wafer capable of mass manufacturing was announced by Shanghai Institute of Microsystem and Information Technology in 2020. It is an 8-inch graphene single wafer. 
This opens up the prospect of China producing carbon-based chips in massive quantities. However, SMIC research indicates that at present time, using graphene wafers, it is not possible to develop another novel semiconductor route. Leader in the Chinese graphene chip industry Peng Lianmao predicts that graphene chips will not become widely used in the next 15 years, silicon carbon fusion technology may become the mainstream in the next 10 to 15 years. The same process iteration rate has significantly slowed down, and short-term breakthroughs that would usher in a golden period for the growth of China's chip industry would be challenged by research on new materials. We believe that if we continue active and high-intensity research investment and effective policy support, China will reach the top tier in the global chip market and realize all domestic coverage in 12 to 15 years when combined with the four decisive factors for China's success mentioned in our previous article. Historical prospects will expand with China and cutting-edge technology. The growth of contemporary human science has entered the four-paradigm period, 1 plus 1 greater than 4, a data-driven era that uses computational power to explore the leading edge of research and technology, as stated by Lu Qi, a Sino-US software executive and creator of Miracle Plus. There was an indisputable tendency in 2020 that the global center was moving to Asia, including the economic, scientific, and innovative centers. It was a historical accident that led to the United States' ascent and financial foundation. China's economic growth has more in common with that of other regions of the world, going from an agrarian to an industrial to the modern information society. Therefore, with the exception of North America, it is simpler for Chinese innovation to spread to other nations. It will be simpler to go to nations and areas in Southeast Asia, Europe, Africa, and Latin America after the commercialization of Chinese innovation achievements has taken place. We believe a previously unheard of opportunity is on the horizon from the standpoints of the market, economy, and development. In such a historical moment, China has no alternative but to grab the era's defining characteristic, namely technological progress. Particularly in the semiconductor industry, China recognized the value of independent technology very early on, much earlier than the United States. As a result, we have high hopes for China's semiconductor sector. But we continue to firmly think that blind self-confidence is incapable of resolving real-world issues. We believe that 12 to 15 years from now is a reasonable time frame if China intends to take the lead in the development of advanced nodes in the global semiconductor business and occupy growing market shares. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.